The rap lifestyle is one that is often dangerous. Hip-hop is a genre where the line between fact and fiction gets blurry, and many talented artists unfortunately never escape the situations they describe in their rhyme. Here is a look at some of the most prominent men who have killed rappers from King Von, to Smoke Dog to Big L. King Von On November 6, 2020, Davon Bennett, known to the world as King Von, was shot and killed in the parking lot of an Atlanta nightclub. King Von was a popular artist from the south side of Chicago who had built a name for himself over the past two years. A childhood friend of Chicago legends like Chief Keef and Lil Durk, Von grew up in the Parkway Gardens housing complex, better known as O-Block. O-Block is notable for being the birthplace of Chicago Drill and for being one of the most violent areas in the city. King Von grew up a mesh in the gang culture of that area and was a member of the Black Disciples. King Von signed a Lil Durk's label, OTF, and released his breakout single, Crazy Story, in 2018. He continued to build a buzz by doing features with a slew of notable artists like G Herbo and YNW Melly. His debut album, Welcome to O-Block, was released on October 30th, 2020, less than a week before his death. Surveillance footage from the shooting leaked onto the internet revealed that the shootout occurred after an altercation broke out between a group associated with Vaughn and another group associated with Savannah, Georgia rapper Quando Rondo. The incident occurred around 3.30 a.m. outside of the Monaco Hookah Lounge in downtown Atlanta. Officers on the scene reported that a total of four people were injured and two had passed away. King Vaughn was one of the two men killed in the incident. The next day, it was announced that a suspect was in custody. The alleged shooter is 22-year-old from Savannah, Georgia, known to his friends as Lil Tim. Fans and spectators have uncovered photos from Instagram of Lil Tim and Quando Rondo posing together. Plus, Rondo recently released a song on YouTube called End of Story, detailing the rapper's involvement in the situation and features a photo of himself with the alleged shooter as the cover art. In the song, Rondo claims the shooting was in self-defense. He alleges that Vaughn was the one who started the fight and his team was merely protecting themselves. Surveillance footage from the scene confirms that a fist fight did break out between the two rappers and Vaughn appears to have thrown the first punch. Lil Tim is currently in police custody and recovering from a gunshot wound at Grady Hospital in Atlanta. It's been alleged that the Black Disciples has put a $1 million hit out on Quando Rondo, so developments in this case are continuing to unfold. Big L Lamont Coleman, better known as Big L, was a prominent Harlem rapper who was tragically gunned down at the age of 24. Before his death, Big L was one of the leading voices in the New York hip-hop scene of the 90s. He was part of a legendary rap crew called Children of the Corn, alongside Harlem icons like Cameron and Mace. In his debut album, Lifestyles of the Poor and Dangerous, is considered to be a classic of that era by fans and critics. Big L was famous for his freestyling skills and storytelling ability and was poised to be one of rap's biggest stars before he was tragically murdered. Big L's murder was never officially solved and remains an open case to this day. However, a man named Gerard Woodley, who grew up in Harlem with the rapper, was arrested a few months after the incident and released for the crime due to insufficient evidence. Woodley was suspected by many close to the rapper to be the killer and was later murdered in 2016. Many believe that Woodley's death was a retaliation for his involvement in Big L's death. However, the motivation behind Woodley's murder was never officially disclosed. Big L has become an underground icon in hip-hop culture and is often cited as a champion of both lyrical hip-hop fans and street rap aficionados. The circumstances surrounding his death have been the subject of debate and speculation, and his legacy has taken on mythic proportions, just like that of other popular figures gunned down in their prime, like Biggie and Tupac. Here is what is known about the murder of Lamont Cole, aka Big L. Lamont Cole was born in Harlem in 1974. His father left the family when Cole was just a child and he was raised by his mother along with his two half-brothers, Donald and Leroy Fanazi. Cole began freestyling at the age of 12 and was known around the neighborhood as Little L. He continued to rap throughout his teenage years. However, by the early 90s, his neighborhood had been greatly impacted by the crack epidemic and Coleman and his brothers became involved in the drug trade from an early age. His music reflected the gritty reality of the streets and he began to build a name for himself throughout New York City by rapping on street corners and at block parties. His debut album was released in 1995 and he was working on a follow-up album, The Bigger Picture, at the time he was murdered. Big L was killed in a drive-by shooting outside the doorway at 45 West 139th Street in Harlem, not far from his childhood home. Gerard Woodley was arrested for the murder three months later but eventually released. No one has ever officially been charged with the murder of Lamont Cole. However, several theories have been postulated about the incident. The first theory is that the shooter mistook Big L for his brother, Leroy Fanazi, and killed the rapper by accident over a case of mistaken identity. At the time of the shooting, Leroy was in prison on armed robbery charges, and Big L was allegedly wearing Leroy's chain when he was killed. It has been speculated that Leroy had gotten into some trouble with Woodley and his associates, and that Big L was murdered either by mistake or as a way to send Leroy a message. 
This theory is supported by a 2010 interview with Big L's other brother, Donald Fanazzi. In that interview, Donald claims that Big L was not the intended target for the hit, he was simply a casualty. Leroy Fanazzi was murdered in 2002 around the same area that his brother was killed. The second theory is that Big L was the intended target, and he was murdered by Willie for his involvement in a crew that robbed drug dealers. It's been alleged that Big L was known to double-cross dealers in the neighborhood that he knew were prone to carrying large amounts of cash on them. He would set them up and give their location to his associates who would rob the dealers and give Big L a cut of the profit. It's been suggested that Woodley was one of those dealers where someone in his crew was robbed and Big L was killed in retaliation. The third theory is that Big L had tried to put a hit out on Woodley on behalf of his brother or for his own protection and Woodley simply got to him first. This theory is supported by rapper Cameron, who shared his version of events in an unreleased song he previewed on Instagram in 2006, shortly after Woodley's death. In the song, Cameron raps, grew up with Big L and the dude who supposedly killed him. A week before that though, Big L had tried to kill him. What was he to do? Cameron never officially released the song and has never publicly made a statement confirming his beliefs, so it's difficult to know if this account is fact or speculation. But it makes sense that if Leroy or Big L knew that Woodley wanted them dead, they may attempt to strike first. Woodley was never officially charged for Big L's murder, but he was arrested in 2010 on weapons charges. Woodley was also a suspect in two other unsolved homicides in 94 and 96, but was likewise released for lack of evidence. He was released on parole in 2015 and murdered on 139th and Lennox Ave in June of 2016, not far from where Big L was killed. Police are uncertain as to whether his murder was retaliation for killing the Harlem legend or an unrelated incident, but regardless of the killer's motivations, Woodley's death seemed to close the chapter on one of the most tragic losses in hip-hop history. Smoke Dog Javante Smart, better known as Smoke Dog, was a singer slash rapper from Toronto who was tragically murdered in broad daylight in front of a nightclub in downtown Toronto on June 30th, 2018. Smoke Dog was part of a local crew called Halal Gang that was quite popular in the Toronto area. He started building an international buzz after collaborating with huge names like Drake and French Montana. He was making big waves in Toronto and beginning to build a notable international presence when he was killed. He and his business associate, Ernest Madaque, were murdered in a drive-by shooting perpetuated by an assailant in a black SUV. The shooting happened in broad daylight with many witnesses around to see it unfold. Police arrested a 22-year-old named Abdul Qadir Handule in 2019 in connection with the shooting. A warrant for Handule's arrest was put out in 2018 and he was apprehended in connection with an unrelated kidnapping that occurred in Burnaby, BC that same year. Handule's motivations and involvement in the shooting have not been definitively proven. However, police have sufficient evidence to hold him on charges of first-degree murder. Fans have speculated that the killing was retaliation for Smoke Dog filming a music video in the neighborhood of a rival gang. Earlier that year, Smoke Dog released a song called Fountain Freestyle that featured a video filmed outside the Atkinson Housing Co-op in the Alexandria Park neighborhood of Toronto. Spectators on social media claimed that this was meant to be a diss against a rival gang and Smoke Dog was killed to send a message. The police have declined to say whether the shooting was targeted, but they have attributed it to gang violence. And Dulé is still awaiting trial, and therefore the case is ongoing. However, all the evidence points to Han Dulé, and it seems unlikely that he'll beat the charge. Smoke Dog was a talented up-and-coming rapper who was killed before he had the chance to reach his true potential. He is just one of many talented young artists who was taken away too soon, and his presence in hip-hop will be missed.